20 miles off the coast of Southern California, Santa Catalina Island beckons tourists and scientists alike. While the island views are endless, the space is not. The Catalina landfill is expected to reach its capacity by 2028. To reduce the amount of food heading to the landfill, researchers at USC's Wrigley Institute for Environmental Studies are testing a unique method to reclaim food waste. The project relies not on expensive equipment, but on an often overlooked insect, the black soldier fly. These are common flies found all over the world. They are unique because the adults don't have mouths, so as the larvae, they must eat and grow very quickly to build up enough fat to live off during their 7-10 to 10 day lifespan. At Catalina, their huge appetite is put to use. Garrett Corwin is the lead technician of the fly project at Wrigley, where he helps guide the recycling process. One of his core responsibilities is caring for the fly larva. He thinks raising awareness about food waste is important because it impacts the entire country. In the United States, about 30 to 50% of all the food we produce ends up in the landfill every year. At Wrigley, we try to combat this using the Black Soldier Fly Bio Waste Recycling Program. What we do is we take all of the food scraps from our cafeteria, we put it through a dehydrator, and then we take this food waste and we feed it to the larva. What we have are the eggs on a mesh shelf sitting over some food. That way the second that the larvae hatch, they fall straight into the food into a nice moist area where they won't dry out and die. And it gives them something to feed on until they're large enough to be transferred to our larger bins. The project involves approximately 1 million fly larvae at any given time who devour leftovers from Wrigley's staff, researchers, and guests. But the process requires a few steps. First, all of the water must be removed from the leftover food. This is where Mark Van Lu, Wrigley's housekeeping supervisor, comes in. This is the EcoVam 250. We're going to uh, put in all of our organic food waste that we collect here in the cafeteria at our facility. So instead of paying to have it shipped off and sorted on the mainland, we like to take it, put it into this machine, and uh, use it in a sustainability process. So keeping it out of the trash is good, but also we're going to use the discharge to uh, feed soldier flies. Once the food from the cafeteria has been dehydrated, it's ready to be fed to the fly larva. It's on these shelves that the real work starts to begin. So over the next two to three weeks, the larva will live in these black bins, eating the food waste from the cafeteria, growing almost 2,000 times from their original size when they came out of their eggs to the point where we harvest them. At the end of the cycle, we take the larva and all of their bedding and uneaten food, we load them in the back, we again put bins underneath and all of the bedding and uneaten food falls through. We can take that and we can reuse it in another life cycle, or we can just use it as a soil amendment for vegetable gardens and trees. The larva then come out the front end, pure and clean, and at that point they're ready to be fed to the chickens in two harbors or to the fish at our facilities. Black soldier fly larva has helped divert over 6,500 pounds of food waste from landfills so far. If their experiment can be successfully scaled, it could reduce billions of dollars in spending, limit pesticide usage, and reduce harmful carbon emissions associated with extreme food waste.